I have a task for you. First, reproduce these dots on a piece of paper. Next, connect all dots using four straight lines without lifting your hand from the paper. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Completed? Congratulations. Here you go. It's always good to think outside of the box. Hello, welcome to Becca Diaries. My name is Becca and I film from Kaduna State about personal development. Today I'll be talking about five things that personal development is not and what it should rather be. Number one, not paying attention to yourself and what works for you. Let's say you have a university roommate or a friend who is topping his or her class. You want to emulate this person, you want to be like this person, you've heard so many good stories about the person. Then you discovered that this person studies so much that he stays up all night to get ahead of the class and then bravo, he starts staying up at night. But at the end of the day, you discover that it's only your body that is awake. Your spirit, your soul, your concentration, your focus are all asleep. And what have you done? A waste of time. Total waste of time. Have you tried reading in the daytime? Have you tried waking up early to read? Have you tried other things that work for you? So the point here is that personal development is not just about taking up strategies that other people have used and start applying them to your life. No. You need to check what works for you. So in this analogy, you need to check what actually works for you. Are you a daytime person? Are you a night person? It's even possible that you are a night person. But what is important is that it is about you. It is what works for you. Not because that person reads in the night, but because when you read in the night, you can actually assimilate and it really works for you. It is dangerous not to make decisions that work for you. It is not personal development. When you tailor strategies to what works for you, then you make good use of your time and you will be productive. Generally, accepting rules, uh, strategies, hook, line and sinker can be dangerous. A little questioning, a little adjustment here and there to suit you, to suit your personality, to suit your being would kill. So just do the needful. Number two not feeding yourself with the right information you know ignorance is bad wrong knowledge or half knowledge is even worse they say what you don't feed will die but poison will kill even faster so how do you get right information i have an acronym for this called auras o-r-a-t so you observe you look around what information is out there to grab you know what are people doing related to what i i want to research on or what i want to get information for and the next is you read so consult books learn to consult books ebooks hard copies visit the libraries use it it's there for a reason read as much as you can so after reading they don't move to a ask so you ask questions ask questions from relevant people ask questions from the people you know you get responses from and don't just ask one person that's your friend that you think is a guru knows everything so it's the person you sit with and just ask all your questions and then the person will give you based on the knowledge that he or she has so you need to ask as many people then finally you think through the t in the or at all R A T is think. So all these things you've gotten, think through them, think it through, read through. Does it make sense to you? So at the end of the day, you're not just cramming this information they're giving to you. You digest it. You think through it, and you really understand. And in fact, it's at the point of thinking that you can even revert and ask more questions and do more reading and do more observation. Number three, not putting what you have learned to use. So you want to upskill, you want to learn more skills, but you're not putting it to use. It is in doing that you even know better. So you, you have learned the skill. And the only time you're really practiced was when you were learning it after the learning process. What you've done is you've documented. So I have learned the skill. You've not really learned it if you have not practiced. Practice sometimes might not be perfect, but practice would be progress. 
because you keep putting this thing to use. It is in practice that you realize that, oh, so there is this thing I really do not know. I thought I knew it and then you're supposed to put it into practice and you realize you actually do not know it. So that by the time you face such thing in future, by the time you get your first paid job, you know what to do because you have been practicing, because you have been doing it. And because you have encountered so many challenges and you have learned to overcome them, then it will be so seamless. But imagine you have learned the skill, you just covered it up, not practicing, not doing anything, not volunteering, nothing. You just have this skill, you feel you have it. And then an opportunity comes up when you're supposed to showcase your talent, to showcase your skill, this new skill of yours that is supposed to help you, to give you an edge over others. Because probably when you were learning this, others were sleeping. But at the end of the day, there will be no difference between you and the person who was sleeping. That your friend that was sleeping, that you were laughing at that, oh, I'm learning this. And at the end of the day, there is really no difference because you will not be practicing. So ensure that as soon as you get a new skill, you put it to use. It will help you get better. Or it will help you realize those things that you thought you knew, but in the, in the real sense, you don't. That is personal development. Number four not setting boundaries. So this basically means that in your upskilling journey, in your learning, relearning, unlearning journey, and all the things that are acquiring, you have no principles at all. So you, you have no time that you can say, hey friends, I'm sorry I can't come out with you today, I'm studying. Oh, hello friends, it's my library time, I need to go use the library. Oh, I'm sorry, although it's my cheat time today, it's the time that I have to watch movies and all of that, I still have to obey it. You can go, today is not my social time that I want to go out with friends. Because when you start eating into all those times, you need more time to cover up. And if you do not set boundaries, if you do not have principles that should guide you, then anything will toss you around and your personal development plan will be truncated or altered. So as someone who is taking a personal development journey seriously, you are supposed to be guided by principles, personal principles that will just help keep your life in shape and not leave you borderless that anything will move you around. Sometimes you can be afraid of your friends, oh what will they say, oh you used to come out with us before, you were always coming out with us, so what has changed? Let them know what has changed, you're taking your life seriously. What you don't know sometimes is that the time your friends are coming to you that, oh, we need to be somewhere, we need to do this, we need to do that, probably that is their own cheat time. That is the time they have to go out. And that is their own time to study. But you feel, oh, I know this friend of mine. He's also very good. So for him to come out and say, let's go out, then I should follow him. Ah, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, but this is his own time to party. And it's your time to study. But you want to leave your own study to follow his own party then I need not tell you that it is nothing close to personal development. You need to take your seriously. Also, be a sati. Learn to be a sati. I want to do this. I was I mean, there are times you bend. We are humans, to be honest. And even as much as uh, being a sati, I want to be there. Are times I bend. There is this uh, friend who's got an emergency. I want to go with that. So I just have to weigh on a scale of preference, which is which is a priority at the time, saving a friend who's dying. Reading. And the next point is that you start knitting. You don't just start boom. Sometimes you run out of steam before you know it. You, you see that so much energy you've got, so much motivation, so much, you know, of all of this will just die down with time. But you need to start little. It's little by little. Start with, you know, securing your space. Start with having a timetable of your of study time and making them realize that this is a study time now, not a time to party anymore. And all of that. And of course, it always balance your life. Boundaries are signs of self-respect. Set them today and learn to preserve them. Number five, being a learner for the sake of showing up. I've seen students who actually attend seminars, you know, now this era has given everyone opportunity to attend things online. You have so many, so many platforms to learn from. And you're going there with the number one intention to oppress people online, really you're mostly posting just for you to post the certificates, for people to know you've learned something, you know. The fact is, it's my work for people, it's my work that they are even getting to learn, they are getting to pick up the challenge to go and learn to. And you posting them, 
you're really not in vibe anything because your major aim is to just show off is to just push it out there for people to see you know just take some quotes from the lecture room and put it there take from you know pictures some screenshots from the online course and just post some people know that ah this guy so you, you're more concerned about how people perceive you than who you really are so you want the picture to be clean out there but you do not want to be clean yourself that is not personal development so no matter how much this is my best year yet quote you right if you do not craft actionable goals you're headed nowhere ultimately it's only you who know and can tell in specifics what you want track yourself you could write down indicators to show your move from point A to point B because only when there's been a change, a movement from point A to B, something progressive, something that is that is visible, only then can we say that personal development has to take place. Remember, the personal development is an intentional act executed by an individual to know better. And when you know better, you do better and ultimately you get better. In this personal development journey together and we will grow together see you next time